Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's October 14th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for being here this week. Um, we're ending the week pretty much at the same place uh, we started in terms of yields, but uh, that wasn't the real story. There was a lot of activity during the week. What were the important data? What did uh, the market respond to? Right. So this week we got the highly anticipated PPI and CPI numbers. Um, you know, what did that lead to? More volatility, which we've seen all year in the uh, bond and stock market. Um, both inflation readings uh, came in actually hotter than expected. Um, when we look at uh, kind of what the market is pricing in, in terms of the next Fed meeting, we're seeing a fourth straight 75 basis point interest rate hike. Um, you know, it, it's pretty unprecedented, but that's, you know, the word we've been using in the last few years. Uh, following those, um, you know, PPI and CPI numbers, uh, in the treasury market, uh, we saw kind of high watermarks of um, 454 on the two year, 408 on the 10 year, and 401 on the 30 year. Um, that was, you know, in the beginning of the day before, uh, you know, kind of in the middle of the day, the market started to pull back a little bit and those yields retreated. Um, similarly, in the stock market, we saw sharp sell offs in the morning. And again, same story here. We uh, throughout the day we saw um, kind of the Dow, S and P, Nasdaq all kind of slowly rally um, before closing the day. Actually, two to three percent higher um, on the day. And then, you know, lastly, just covering, you know, munis. Uh, kind of depending on where you look on the scale, we saw three to five basis point cuts. Um, so again. A uh, super volatile day um, that was kind of to be expected following the PPI and CPI numbers. Um, and then lastly, I'll just, you know, more of the same with uh, respect to the outflows. Uh, Lipper reported 2.3 billion of weekly outflows this week. And, um, you know, I think that kind of puts us around 85 billion uh, of outflows year to date. And despite those outflows, uh, the impact of that was moderated a little bit by the fact that the new issue calendar remained very light um, this week. And in fact, we saw if you take a look at the, the ratios of muni yields to treasury yields, they're down a little bit. So uh, even as uh, amidst the volatility, muni is not performing a little bit, I think, you know, capped by that uh, uh, calendar weakness, but that's going to reverse a little bit next week. The calendar is a little over $8 billion for next week, right? What, is, what are you watching? Yeah. So, you know, like, like you mentioned, um, you know, we had the holiday week, so we only had a four day week. So this week, the supply was only 2.7 billion. Um, you know, as we know, investors have been kind of sitting in cash all year. So maybe they're putting some of that to work now. And, uh, you know, that kind of leads you to these outperformance and the muni treasury ratios. Um, the, for BAM, uh, we actually wrapped 13 million Serena CUSD number two, Illinois, priced by Bernardi and a $6 million Gladden Farm CFD in Arizona with Hilltop. Um, you know, again, relatively quiet week in the negotiated space, but when we look at the competitive space, we continue to stay busy. Um, most of our activity was actually in Texas MUDs this week. Uh, looks like I think we had about eight series, 48 million of par insured. Um, so we stay busy there. And then when we kind of look ahead to next week, we'll see, um, I think right now I'm seeing about 8 billion in supply. Um, some of the largest deals are about 1.1 billion Connecticut special tax obligation bonds. You have 1.1 billion Mass Geo, 800 million Hawaii Geo, 580 million New Jersey EDA, and then actually a 512 million Southeastern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority, and that's been approved. And as we always get reminded by our, uh, our uh, the analysts over at uh, Municipal Market Analytics, there is a lot of seasonality in the marketplace. Uh, Texas MUDs is a good example of that. This is the time of year when they typically come to market uh, with their new issue transactions. And I think our underwriters are hearing that uh, there are a lot of transactions that uh, issuers will try to price between now and the end of the year. So we'll see if that uh, the calendar will have to pick up to, to remain on the pace for a $400 billion year. But it does seem like uh, that's likely coming in the next couple of weeks. So we'll stay tuned. Thanks for being with us. All right. Thanks, Mike.